Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing, and we're about to take the Hobie out for his maiden voyage. I'm gonna try trolling around maybe because we have a paddle drive now. So I'll be able to pedal and fish out the side, maybe troll a little bit to try out this new mini chatterbait that I got. And uh, let's get out to the lake, guys. So I was really hoping I was going to be able to mount it like this. Um, I like to have the tailgate up. That way I can put all my stuff in the back of the truck without it blowing out. And this is how I used to mount my old kayak. So we're going to see if it works the same. That's not good. See the rudder? There we go. There we go. It's in. Now we just gotta strap it down. So what I do is I take this rope, just like this, and I run it through a scupper hole, and then tie it to the back of the truck, and it pulls everything and keeps it from sliding out. And this is kind of difficult to do one-handed. Ta-da! And then the tag end, just go see this loop. Down. See that? Nice and tight, holding the kayak towards the back of the truck. Now we just tie a knot. Just like that. Next, I'm just going to run a strap across, and then it should be good. That's how I used to mount my old one. Solid. The rudder looks good. Got some solid against the back. This thing will ride. Whew, only broke out a little bit of a sweat. Now let's get to the lake. <laughs> Worked out pretty easy. Hmm, he's coming forward. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder if I can put my tackle box in the front now. Look at that, it fits. I can have my tackle box in front of me instead of behind me. So awesome. Okay, so I've never done this before. <laughs> I've never had wheels like this. This is so cool. I got to park my truck up there and then I just walked the kayak down so I'm not holding up the boat ramp. I could actually put in like at the beach. I don't have to put in at the boat ramp. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do, because the wheels, I'm gonna have to lift the back of the kayak up to get the wheels out. So what I'm gonna do is put the front of the kayak in the water. Try not to fall in. Uh, get around that rod. Okay, kayak is in. Oh. Now here, I'm just going to lift the back of the kayak up over those wheels. And they float. <laughs> Good deal. Yeah, that was easy. Now I could take them back up to the truck or I can just put them in like this upside down. Yeah, I like that. That looks pretty sweet. All right, so it's windy and the wind is coming at us. And this would be a really hard day to fish if it wasn't for this Mirage Drive. So we're gonna give it a try. And hopefully it makes today's fishing a lot better. Ooh. 
Well, it's really stable. I can stand up on it really easy. Let's get this Mirage Drive in and see how it works. I guess you just uh, like this, like that. And that's it, I think. Oh, it's gonna be hard to have a rod in between my legs. I didn't even think about that. Hmm, because I have three rods and I'm gonna need to put one in between my legs. So maybe we'll just put it sticking up the back. I'm gonna definitely need another rod holder. What if I just put it in my lap? Okay, I'm going forward. Yes. If I wanna go in reverse, I just pull this. Yep, just like that. Now I should be going forward. I don't know if I like these thingies. Okay, I just took these off because I don't like to be enough to fit my foot in there. We'll see how it works. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever used a pedal drive kayak. All right, which chatterbait are we gonna try first? We got the little white one. We got the jackhammer. And we got the mini. So the mini, the jackhammer, and the micro. This one's one eighth ounce, this one's one quarter ounce, and this one's three eighths ounce. Let's start right in the middle of the road. All right, that's gonna be the money today, I think. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, these are too far. It's got like this pin. I don't think we can adjust these. Yeah, I need them closer to me. Turn, buddy, turn. It doesn't want to turn left. Reverse works. Oh, come full left. and paddle this thing does not go straight it's like I have it all the way to the left and it's going straight There we go, trolling. That's what I'm talking about. He's burning that chatterbait above the grass. He's barely hooked. Come on, little guy. Gotcha, first fish in the new kayak. Uh-oh, reverse. 
Back it up, back it up, back it up. Look at that, yes. Golly, that's awesome. Just, he's not very big, but he is the first fish. And we got one on this micro, no, the mini. This is the Chatterbait Mini. Alrighty, first fish in the new kayak. Let's back it up. And he was right there on the edge, just trolling. That's what I'm saying, man. This Mirage Drive is sweet, you can troll. Oh wow, look at that cool little spot right there. All right, little guy, thank you very much. Woohoo! All right, we know this one works. Okay, let's throw this jackhammer around for a little bit. I have the same trailer now on this jackhammer as I did that. Look, come on out of those reeds, darn it. I got 20 pound, 20 pound fluoro and 30 pound braid. We're gonna see, look how shallow this is. That Mirage Drive is all up in those weeds. Now look where we are. We're up in this thick stuff. Let's see if this Mirage Drive can get us out, huh? Okay. Let's go forward and turn the rudder this way. And let's go. I can feel the reeds. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. It wants to. There we go. Look at that. There's no way you'd be able to do that with any, any other drive system. That was crazy. I was in that big, thick. It's kind of a crappy day, but I needed to take advantage. Because I don't know if I'm going to get a good day. And any day out on the water is better than a day anywhere else than on the water. What's this boat doing? How's it going? You got a line out here? Nope. Okay. So normally I'd be kind of irritated about that, that boat rolling up on me, but now I got the Mirage Drive. I can just go somewhere else and it ain't even a thing. They saw me catch that fish is what it was. Ooh, that was a bite. I don't know if it was a bass, but it was a bite. It was like tick, tick. I'm gonna throw this white one a couple times just to see. If that was a bite, maybe it was like a crappie or something. The crappie will eat this. Loosen that up quite a bit. Look. This rod is... Ooh, I like that. It starts vibrating right away. So I just bought this rod. It's a 7 foot medium light. Look at all that rod tip. Just, just dances. This is like a, a really light crankbait chatterbait rod if I can get it to cast back to the mini the micro and the mini Grass ain't stopping me. Oh, it's a fish. Oh, I didn't get a good hook set. Darn it. I thought it was a weed. It was so close to the boat. Darn it. I really like fishing with white baits because you can see them. You can, I can see that bait as soon as it hits the water all the way back to the boat.
Oh, that's a nicer one. Oh, and he came off. He was just barely hooked in the side of the mouth. Oh, darn it. That was cool. I watched him come up and eat it too. Oh, old Faithful gets her done. I watched him come up and eat it too. Look at these weeds, you guys. I'm right in these weeds. And watch. Dun, 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 dun. There's no stopping this drive. Hey y'all, we're just heading back to the boat ramp. Trolling, look at this. I'm going and I'm fishing at the same time. This is so cool. This is Mirage Drive has made today so much easier. I'm loving this kayak. I can stand up and fish on it. I don't have to worry about bringing those, those Scotty stabilizers. It's plenty stable to stand up on for me. Um, I'm having some issues tracking, so I'm gonna have to mess with the rudder when I get home. Plus, uh, my foot pedals need to be adjusted closer to me because they're a little bit too far. The guy that had it before me must have had longer legs. But anyways, we got some bites, we got to fish, we got to try it out. This thing is amazing in the weeds. I didn't get stuck once, so look at that. Just waiting for them fish to bite. And it's kind of funny because the one fish we did end up getting in the boat, I caught while I was trolling. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, fish, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one. Definitely gonna need to figure out this rudder situation because it does not turn left. I might just have to go backwards the whole way home. It's crazy that I go straighter going backwards than I do going forwards. Hey y'all, so I get the kayak back trying to figure out what's wrong with this rudder because I couldn't steer to the left. I couldn't figure it out. It was tough because I was out on the water and I'd never messed with a kayak like this before, but I, I just couldn't steer to the left at all. So I got it back here and it's, I feel like an idiot because look, look at this. So this is how the rudder was. And this is like, the traveling position, right? It's like up. I was like, oh, it's so streamlined. It should, it's kind of neat like that. But when you go to turn it, uh, it doesn't turn. Like that's as far as it goes. And it doesn't, it wouldn't, it doesn't turn. Like it only goes that far. So I used it all day like that out on the water, all day. Come to find out there's this rope right here. See this rope? Pull on it, like that, Whoop. let that down, just like that. You just let that rope down. Now look at the rudder. Now it hangs down like it should, and watch, it turns real easy all the way. Watch this now with the handle. Boop. Nice and easy, both ways. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> Oh, but I'm glad I got that figured out. I'm gonna have way more fun out on this next time I take it out. I guess you gotta fish, learn, repeat. Catch you on the next one. Who knew? Like what the, what the, come on. Up, look, it even says up. Idiot.